my lovelies. I hope that you have had a very lovely Christmas in December. My name is Holly from My Daily Haze and you're here to see me talk about my cross stitch and uh, a few other bits and pieces. First thing I'll be talking about is <laughs> is uh, my first cross stitch is mini evening um, tried it by Heaven and Earth Designs uh, it's artwork by Leonid Athamal. I'm doing it on 18 count, two over, two over one full cross. I am now at 80.86. I, there we go. And I've got, after I finish that little bit there, hopefully today, I will be, have seven more, seven more columns to go. So it's it's getting there. So we'll see how things go, and hopefully I'll have it done in a month or so. I think, you know, if I really get a, a bee in my bonnet about it, maybe I can get it finished before then. But I'll just keep tracking on with it. Um, and fortunately, I've been doing it so much that my wrist is a bit sore because the way I fold it up, I fold it up with the Oops, is this the right side? Yeah. Um, no, it's not. I fold it up with, at the moment uh, because I stitched from the left to the right. I, I roll it up like that on both sides and I hold it. Well, that gets folded up as well, but I roll it up and then I just hold it like that. But the weight of the canvas, uh, the weight of the cross stitch is, is kind of weighing down. I didn't even take the... I was wanted to get this recorded because it's getting late and it's three o'clock and it'll get dark soon um and I'll, <laughs> I thought well if I don't get this done now it'll never get done to, and for another week or so so I need to get it done but it's uh it's coming along I'm really happy with it my husband every once in a while he'll say oh how yeah how far are you and he'll count how many percent I have left to do and things like that he's very excited about it the second pro, uh, uh, yeah, I told you it was 80.86%. Right, the second one is Santa and Animals. Um, there we go. This is by Charting Creations. Um, the artwork by De Dakota Detweiler. This is on 22 count hard anger, uh, being stitched one over one full cross. And here we go again. I am so looking forward to getting more into this. It's kind of bothering me that it's so little into it. I just want to just start working on it hard and getting it done. Um, I had a new start on December 30th. I started this. It's called Tranquil Tulip by D D uh, Hannah Disney, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, the reason why I started this is that I've never worked, well, I say that, I've done one state, one project on 28 count, I think it was 28 count, um, linen, um, and I messed up on it, but I fudged it and got it because it was the Christmas, it's the, the frosty thing that I showed you once before, I'm trying to remember where I put it. This is... <sighs> This is um, the only other project I've ever done, on, I think, on such small, on such small fabric. It might be 25 cap, but anyway, I'm not, I'm not familiar with, with very small counts. My site's not good enough for it. However, I started this because um, my ray of light pattern I would like if I'm gonna, if I'm going to do it, I need to do it on um, a smaller count so that the, it'll decrease the pixelation. My husband's decided he loves that chart because I was just gonna go and give it up for lost and not do it because I didn't want to deal with the pixelation. But I'm gonna try to do learn learn to get accustomed to 28 count because I had to do that with 25 count for falling snow. I had to get used to it. But anyway. 
I've worked on it twice. It's a teeny tiny little thing. It's only 32,000 something stitches. And that's why I particularly found, wanted to find a full cross, um, a full cross, very tiny, small, full, <laughs> tiny and small the same, but a tiny, uh, full, full, full coverage project so that I could practice in on the, on stitching on the 28 count. And this is the only one small one that I found on Hyde that I'd be willing to stitch and had a use for. And probably this will never end up in our home. I'll probably give it to some, some young ladies that I know to get, to put in their room. Um, so it, it, but it's a good project to start because like you see, it's just, was it yay big? It's teeny tiny. So it's, it's, a, I'll know by the time I get to the end of this 32,000 plus stitches, whether I can hack stitching on 28 counts. So it's a good, a good project to start with, start that. I finished, I don't remember if I showed you this, I don't think I did, but I finished my son's, uh, tiny tree skirt. Um, I had to kind of took a base on, on the edging and just kind of added to it a bit so that it would actually go around the, the, um, the circular edge. And it's, it, you can't tell, but it's all sparkly. So then we'll have it for next year. I've got two more. I've got, I want to make a f large one for our tree. And I was, my son also wants one for their tree. So I'll probably be making two big ones of these. I've already got the yarn for it. So yeah, it's, it's simple enough. It's just getting it done. Yeah. It's, yeah. I have so many crafts in so little time. <laughs> um, I've been doing my knitting. I've started a, um, I started a scrap square and sock yarn, um, and knitted. It's called, some people call it cozy memories. Some people call it something else that I can't remember, but anyway, that's, that's what I'm stitching. Because I've got all these little bits and pieces of, and so it makes little squares. I'll probably I'll try to remember to show it to you next time. I started another pair of socks, and I'm trying out new techniques. Like that's called mirror knitting or reverse knitting, where you knit from this side and then turn around and knit that way without turning the the. Because my purling, I enjoy purling the way I normally do it, which some people call the Norwegian purl, but it makes my pearls are not very tight so it, i'm trying to learn how to knit to purl if i have to do lots of pearls in a row i'm trying to learn how to reverse it so that i can um so that i can have a, a little bit tighter gauge not that people who not knit don't care about um i'm gonna try to after after i get through with um mini evening I'll probably start trying to put a lot more stitches into this. It's kind of weighing on my mind. It's been there for a year and a half. I want to get more stitches in on both of the other two that I'm working on. Uh, I don't know if I'll start another one once many evenings done. I'll see how I feel at the at this moment in time. Between those three projects, I think I've got ample to, to deal with at the moment. Um, between the cross stitch and the crochet and the knitting and the bits and pieces of the sewing that I'm doing. It's like today, I've got a, I got a sheet that needs new elastic <laughs> for the edge. So I've got to be, um, that's one of the, because I don't throw things, if I can mend it, I don't throw them away. It's like a ripped seam or um, replacing elastic. Uh, to me, it's wasteful. If you, if I, because I've bought, all the bits and pieces and even if it if, if it's just a pound or you know just a little few pence to to replace it i'll go ahead and do it and even if it does take me i'll just get my antique singer out and, and give it a whirl and it'll be fine um i've just i'm trying to look at my notes here and say for us we we had a we had a quiet christmas my husband worked night four nights on the rot on the trot there, um, including two nights. He worked late in the morning of Christmas Day, and then he had to go to work early 
<laughs> Christmas night. Um, so, but it was, it was pleasant. Sorry, my phone cut out on me again. Yeah, my husband and I are really glad to see the back of 2023. It was a rough year for us. Um, we're hoping and praying that 2024 will be a better year. Um, I know that some of the people, I know that there are a lot of people, not just some, I know a lot of people have had a rough year and I am hoping and praying for all of you as well that any, any stress, any negatives in your life are a result in a lovely way for you. And I will, I'll, I'll, re I'll return when I can. Um, it's, I'm all flushed because I've been trying to, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the first time, it's, it's a, when my, only, oh, my husband only does one day shift a week, um, usually, um, and that's the day I run around trying to get as much of the housework done as possible, um, so, and recording on the, on the one day that he's, per week is, is quite tricky, and last week my, my back was out, so I was in too much pain to, <laughs> I was in too much pain to record, unfortunately. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be chipping away at mini evening, and I do think of you guys, and I do pray for you, and I really appreciate you watching the video and leaving your comments. Um, I haven't been in I haven't been able to mentally commit myself to sitting down. I read the comments briefly, but sitting down and replying has been above my pay grade at the moment. <laughs> but I do, I do love the fact that you guys, yeah, you know, I just, y'all are so sweet and I wish I lived near all of you, which would be kind of hard, <laughs> more than hard. But I wish I lived near all of y'all so that we could have a good chat and uh, spend some time together. I'm wishing you a beautiful day. I hope that life is treating you the best possible way because you deserve it. And I'll talk to you as soon as I can. Take care.